Gloria Nakaziwe lives in Kalangala, Uganda. The district is made up of a scattered group of islands in Lake Victoria. She's HIV positive. And with only basic transport and healthcare services available, her tale is one of persistence. The medical workers at times fail to get fuel, at times get the boat but without fuel, at times get fuel and a boat but no boatman, so at times we miss our medication. Gloria is just one of many people here who live with constant uncertainty. Whenever you're sick and you don't get medication, it affects our health, it could even lead to death. According to the World Health Organization, about 2 million people lack access to essential medical services in developing countries. Ugandan innovators are now using drone technology to ensure that people living in remote communities have equitable access to modern treatment for HIV. So that will be carrying medication for a month or up to three months to a group of about 10 people, up to about a, a kilo's worth of medication. We're also going to see if we can carry samples, such as blood samples, and in West Nile we'll be seeing if we can carry COVID samples uh, for COVID testing. The drones can carry up to 15 kilograms of medical supplies and fly for 150 kilometers. They are operated by locally trained pilots who control and monitor the flights. It's a vital solution that has the potential to save lives. It is going to help out to people who have, missing, have been missing drugs. Secondly, though we have a stigma in place, but our peers on the ground have done more work than we would expect. These peers will be able to meet these people privately, and they will be always on and off. On time, give us reports. They deliver these drugs to those people. According to the UN, Almost 1.5 million people in Uganda live with HIV, but nearly a third of them are not receiving treatment. Authorities hope that this new technology will help close the gap. Solomon Serwanja, TRT World, Kampala.